Are you lonely in a crowd? Are you having difficulty right now, emotional pain? Do you feel like people around you don't really understand what you're going through? Is there uncertainty about the future? Lack of confidence about who you are or God's ability to come through for you in the circumstances you're facing right now? Are you experiencing difficulties or uh, dissatisfaction and maybe even unfulfillment in your relationships right now and you don't feel like there's heart-to-heart -heart connection with people that you really love or care about. You know that's one of the things that human beings have to face from time to time in their life uh, and some people a whole lot more than others because of circumstances that have developed the hand they've been dealt with in life. There's a scripture I'd like to read to you. 1 John 1 verse 7 says, If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanses us from all sin. If we walk in the light, not darkness. God is a God of light. We're a kingdom of light. We're children of light. That means we were created to live in light, to thrive in light, to find fulfillment in light. And light represents truth, honesty, depth of relationship with God and with others that we have loving relationships with. Sometimes because there's a thread, a culture, if you will, in the world that just doesn't want people to be open and honest, that thread and that culture flows through the church. And there is a culture in the church that just wants people to walk in denial. Don't ever face what it is that you're going on because, you know, think about those things that are lovely and pure and of good report. And it's not a good report to say, I'm depressed. It's not a good report to say, I've been raped. It's not a good report to say, I'm lonely. It's not a good report to say, I'm afraid about the future. It's not a good report to say, my marriage is failing. I need help and I need prayer. Now there are good, honest people out there in ministry, friends, who will walk in that kind of light with you. But a lot of times, the people that we care about the most don't. And because of that, there's an area of darkness. They want, it's uncomfortable. They, they don't want to face those things in their own heart, so how can they face them in your life also? And they shy away. And some people will even go to the extent of just trying to just flat shut you up and shut you down, man. Religious silencing. You know, I think that maybe I need to follow this video up with one on religious silencing just to help expose it and help bring some deliverance to you in your life. The Bible also says in Corinthians, the Apostle Paul said, what communion has light with darkness? And so light represents those who want depth in their relationships. They want the Lord Jesus to actually heal their hearts and bring them to the place where they can have fulfillment in their destiny and what they were created to be and all the things that God has really called them to do. And I have a feeling there's a whole lot of you out there right now that are saying, yes, Mike, would you pray for me? I really need healing. And I am going to pray for you in a minute. I'm going to pray that God would bring you to the right people to help you with that. But I want you to understand that God wants you to find fulfillment in light and not be shut down by darkness. There is help available. Go to God. Turn your heart to God. Maybe a better way of saying that is be open and honest with God about it. 
and then allow him and the Holy Spirit to lead you to save people that you can talk to. They may be professionals, such as a Christian counselor. It may be somebody in the ministry, such as a pastor or a staff counselor. It may be a good friend who just is very loving and not afraid of these issues. But you need prayer and you need help. No man's an island. You can't do it all by yourself. I want to pray with you about it right now because God cares for you affectionately. And he cares about you very intently. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for each and every person out there watching this video and under the sound of my voice that at this moment the anointing of the Holy Spirit would come upon them. That the healing power of the Holy Spirit, the compassion of the Holy Spirit would come into their hearts right at this moment. And Lord, that you would show them that there's not anything wrong with them. That they're wounded, that they're struggling. All human beings do. And those that look superficial and, and, and that they never have a problem are carrying around just as many hurts on the inside. I pray, Lord God, for the Holy Spirit to begin to heal all of those hearts and that you would show them they matter, that they are important, and that your blood was shed not only for them, so for their salvation, but for the healing of their lives. I pray that you would bring them to a place of fulfillment in relationship, fellowshipping in light, not in darkness. And Lord God, that the darkness would not silence or hold them back. Release in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind the darkness. I bind the silencing in Jesus' name. But Lord, I speak a release of light and a release of healing and of comfort to those precious, wonderful children of yours. In Jesus' name.